What's up YouTube and Facebook Blue Dooley in the garage with the 2.5 liter Boxster 4 out of James's Subaru Impreza Outback Sport. We had to do the head gaskets on it and uh, there's a lot of other videos out about doing the head gaskets on these engines. In fact, we're in the process of buttoning it up. I have the valve cover off because this particular year of 2008 has an active valve lift system AVL something. I couldn't find too much information on it and uh, I only found one video of a guy talking about the particular system so I wasn't really sure how to get the valves back together while well, the valve rockers back together so it's a little bit of a trick. We'll get you in here in the motor. Anyways on the particular engines with the active valve lift system you'll have the exhaust valves on one rocker bar and they operate like normal. The intakes one valve works all the time and then the second valve works I'm not really sure how but when you're putting the head back together let's see if we can find one there's three little pins one here and then one in here and then one in right there move my fifth finger so you can see so when you're putting this back on or even when you're taking it off you need to make sure you keep track of where these little pins come out of the one in here is spring loaded and then there's the same over here there's actually spring tension on two of these again not really sure how it works but that spring tension makes it a little harder to put this rail back on this whole assembly back on once you've done the camshaft and put the cam cover or a cam holder in it this is actually the first overhead valve engine I've worked on so this is a little bit of a new experience but I just wanted to point this out if you uh, haven't messed with the system before that you got to make sure all these pins are in place and when you're actually you actually have to use quite a bit of force to push this down and then run the bolts in to even hold it in place but you might need an extra pair of hands just to wiggle some of these pins around so you can actually get it flat and flush <clears throat> so that was a little bit of an annoyance it took me a little longer because again I've never worked on actually an import ever. The other thing you're going to need millimeter, get my hand out of the light, five millimeter that you can put a torque wrench to, a hex bolt or a hex driver, so you can torque these little down guys down. And then you'll need a Torx bit for six bolts. And then that's just a 10 millimeter right there. You also need a set of 12 point sockets to take the head bolts off. Uh, I've never seen that before. The paint mark on this bolt and the other one, if you'd seen it, is you torque them down, then you tighten them so many degrees, and then you go another so many degrees. It's kind of an interesting way Subaru has you torque down the motor. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out that maybe not a lot of people mention is these plastic covers for the timing belt can easily be broken. This one was, so we had to order a new one of these. And then if you have to pull this the pulley off on this right side of the head, if you either need a spanner wrench to hold these teeth or something to get in here that you can keep from turning the whole pulley when you torque this down. <coughs> Excuse me. I improvised with a couple of giant uh, adjustable wrenches. I stuck one in here, held this arm, and then used the other adjustable wrench out as a handle. And uh, we didn't mar it up or anything, so happy about that. But you tighten this to 35 foot-pounds, and then you go an additional 65 degrees, and by the time I was getting about to 50 degrees, I was about picking the motor and James up. So, again, you might need might need an extra set of hands just to kind of hold the motor still while you're torquing everything down. This isn't a very like heavy-duty engine stand. 
<clears throat> excuse me, my allergy's been terrible. So, once James gets done with church and a couple of other guys we know either wake up or get home from church and change, I gotta get the car pushed up the uh, driveway so we can get the motor installed. But that's all I'm gonna really say on it. It's a if you're used to working on heavy equipment like I am, this entire engine is 100 pounds. And I've worked on engines where the head weighs more than 100 pounds. So, yeah, it's kind of neat to just be able to pick stuff up without a cherry picker. Anyways, hope that helps you out a little bit if you go to work on a 2008 Subaru with the active valve, lift, whatever it is. That's the only ridiculous thing on the motor. This is a non-turbo motor. And I believe the non-turbo motors are the only ones with this system. And it's a very narrow uh, window in which years have it. So, anyways, hit like. I'm going to get to work buttoning up this motor a little bit better so we can get ready to get it in the car. And we'll